Now, for the uh, for an example for inverse Laplace transform, we have here 1 over uh, 1 minus 3s over s squared plus 8s minus 21. Now, you will notice that the, numer the denominator side of this transform is actually quite complex. No? So why is that? Since as you will notice, based on this one, we cannot easily find a denominator which resembles on our tables of transform pairs. So how can we solve such kind of problem? No? So there are numerous methods in this kind of problem we will be solving it using completing the square. Now, see the other example for inverse Laplace is we are to solve it using partial fraction expansion. So this one is a method that uh, uh, is a needed uh, method for uh, solving the inverse Laplace transform of this equation. So we will be using the completing the square concept. Now, what is the completing by square concept? This one is our... Uh, uh, denominator. This is just a review on your algebra. No? So we're in, in order for us to complete the square is we have to divide no, the middle term which has, a, which has a variable s in it. No? So we divide the middle term by 2. So that will become 4. And uh, divide the middle term by 2 and then square the answer. So uh, that's it no, for the completing the square. But make sure to uh, make our equation correct. No? So when you add a constant, we should subtract a constant of the same magnitude no? to, for us to have the same equation as before no? so that we cannot change the, re the original equation. So divide by 2, the middle term is equivalent to 4. Square that one, equivalent to 16. So that yields to this one. So basically, s squared plus 8s plus 16, we have added 16. In order for us to have the same equation as the left side of the equation, no, we need to subtract minus 16 here. So that when you perform arithmetic here, we will still arrive at this one. No? So basically, the, uh, we did not uh, change the equation. No? Basically, the answer this is the same. So... Uh, the completing the square is just to aid us to uh, factor out and then try to find the resemblance in the Laplace transform uh, tables. Now with this, so 16 minus 16, uh, you can notice that one. And then uh, solve the uh, last two terms. So you the subtracted term and then the, the remaining constant. So that equates 2 plus 5. Now from that, we can now complete the square. So why is that? You can see that this one is a perfect square trinomial. No? So the meaning is that if we try to uh, multiply them as shown here, s plus 4 multiplied by s plus 4, we can arrive at this one. So this is called the completing the square concept. So basically, how can we arrive at 4? Just take the square root of this one, you will arrive at this one. No? And then uh, solving, and then this is just a review for your uh, on your algebra. No? So the remaining is plus five here. So therefore, we can change the denominator as this one. No? So from this, looking back on our tables of transforms, we can notice that there is a resemblance. No, from this denominator side, there exists a resemblance as this one, either e raised to negative eighty sine omega t or e raised to negative 80 cosine omega t. Either of these two Laplace transform pairs can be used to uh, solve our function now. Now, so from, from the denominator that is not on the table, uh, we have now a denominator that is on the table. So using our tables of transforms, uh, you can notice that this one has uh, we can have two options here. No? So uh, the consider, let us consider first this one. So as you can notice, the numerator should have the same as the denominator squared. So S plus 1 should, S plus A should have the same as S plus A on the denominator, on the numerator. Uh, so, and you will notice that S plus 4 is not 
in this. So not in this. So how can we transform this transform pair no, that's, so that we can now solve for the Laplace transform as this one? No, for, or the inverse Laplace transform as this one. No. <clears throat> so we can add four here on the S part. You can notice when you add four, we need to subtract four. So basically, the numerator side is just the same as this one. No. However, there exists now a resemblance from the denominator up to the numerator, S plus 4 and then S plus 4 as the same as this one. No? S plus A, S plus A. <clears throat> no? Just manipulating the equation again, no? uh, distributing negative 3 on this side, which you can notice, and then negative 3 on this side. So that will be positive 12. You can see now we have the resemblance. No? <clears throat> And then uh, just uh, uh, manipulating again, 1 plus 12 is 13. Arithmetic, performing arithmetic to this one yields to the following. And then you will notice that we can divide this by this, the denominator, and then 13 divided by this one. Performing that one, uh, we can see that uh, from that, we have here on the first term and then we have here on the second term. Uh, so considering the first term, uh, considering the, this division, you will notice S plus 4 is the same as this one. And then this one, we have satisfied the following transform pair. However, uh, we need to make sure that we incorporate negative 3 uh, on this part. You can notice that one. And then from this term, we can now see that negative a, you can notice here. So what is a here is 4. You can notice 4. So negative a is equivalent to 4. Therefore, a is negative 4, just as shown here. So we have changed now this one, negative 4. Take note for that. And therefore, this whole of this term is we have the transform pair as shown. So take note again for the omega. Omega is in square. Our omega here is 5. Omega square is equivalent to 5. Therefore, omega is equivalent to square root of 5. So from that, omega is only needed, not square. So therefore, uh, that's, this explains square root of 5 here. Now, on the second term that is divided, 13 divided by s plus 4 squared plus 5, you can notice a resemblance with this one. However, we need to make sure that omega is the same as omega here. So omega squared, that is omega only here. So we they have should have the same magnitude. So take note that if this is 5, no, omega, omega squared is equivalent to 5. Therefore, omega is square root of 5. You will notice here. So when we add square root of 5 here on the, num on the, uh, on the numerator, we need to divide another by the square root of 5 which is the same, so that this equation is the same as this one. No? So we only perform square root of 5 over square root of 5 in order for us to match no, the transform pair from this pair. <clears throat> Having said that, uh, our only concern now is this one, 13 square root of 5. No? Factor that out, you notice. And then from that, the remaining square root of 5 and then 5 here, we have satisfied this transform pair already. And then the same as this one. So for the A naman, for A is negative A. You can notice here as five, we have uh, performed at thus as negative A is equivalent to four. So A is equivalent to four. So substitute A equivalent to four here, equates to negative four. And then this whole is, as transform as sine omega t as designated in this one. So this one is our answer.